So hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Renee and today we're making broccoli cheddar soup. This is such a delicious recipe. It is so simple to make, only takes about 40 minutes and the majority of the time it's just simmering away on your stove. So to make broccoli cheddar soup, the ingredients are super, super simple. Onion, carrot, broccoli, some spices, some chicken stock, a little bit of 2% milk, some half and half cream, sharp cheddar cheese, of course, some garlic and butter. And the one ingredient that might surprise you is a russet potato. I am personally eating low carb and today's recipe recipe has less than 20 net carbs per serving and it's going to knock your socks off. So my broccoli cheddar soup recipe is in my newly released cookbook. I cannot believe that this is actually my third cookbook. It is full of full flavor, low carb meals. I guarantee you are not going to miss the carbs. These are meals that you can happily feed everybody in your family and they're going to love them. The cookbook is full of recipes like this broccoli cheddar soup, chicken tortilla soup, a salmon sushi bowl, chicken parmesan, homemade Caesar salad dressing, chicken fajita quesadillas, meatballs and ricotta, and oh my smash burgers. You can download my full colored cookbook onto your computer or your mobile device. By clicking the link in the corner, you can browse the entire cookbook and get a feel for the way that I like to put my cookbooks together. I had such a good time making this cookbook and again, cannot believe it is my third one. The link to the cookbook is also available in the description box below. And a lot of people think broccoli cheddar soup is only good when you get it in a restaurant, but I'm going to prove you wrong with my recipe. So let's get going. So to get started, you want to peel and dice one carrot and you want the pieces pretty small because this is just going to be flavoring in your soup. You don't want big chunks. Then you want to dice one small yellow onion. Then in a Dutch oven over medium high heat, you want to saute your onions and carrots in a quarter cup of butter until they are soft. Then add two cloves of minced garlic and cook for about one minute or until fragrant. So while your carrots and onions are sauteing for a few minutes, now's a good time to cut up your potato and your broccoli. I like to cut my potato into small diced pieces so that they will cook quickly and then easily mash up into the soup. After a couple minutes, check on your carrots and onions. And if they're soft and translucent, you can move on with your soup. Add in a quarter cup of flour and cook the flour for one minute, stirring constantly. Then gradually add your 2% milk, whisking to incorporate. Add the salt, pepper, and a dash of cayenne. Then slowly add the chicken stock. Stir it well and add your diced russet potato. Bring the pot of liquid to a boil, then reduce the heat, cover and simmer for 10 minutes or until your potatoes are soft. I like my potatoes to be fork tender. That's how I know they're ready. So my soup mixture with my potatoes in it is just starting to come to a boil, but I want to get this going pretty good before I cover it up. So I'm going to turn down the heat to about medium, medium low. Put the lid on my Dutch oven and set the timer for 10 minutes. So you want your broccoli pieces to be pretty small, bite sized because this is soup. So after I get the little florets pulled apart, I just kind of honestly just chop them up on my cutting board because I like my broccoli pieces in the end to be just kind of little specks and they really don't disintegrate much once you get them in the soup. So this would be too big to have in soup. So kind of crunch it up pretty good and it'll cook quicker that way too. And the amount of broccoli you put in your soup is really up to you. I know the recipe says four cups, but if you want it to be really full of broccoli, you could absolutely add more or less. I'm going to show you what four cups of broccoli looks like. About three broccoli stems about this size produced four cups of broccoli. And then once I get it stirred in my soup, if I need more, I have this extra here that I can add in. Okay, let's check our potatoes. Okay. 
So I'm going to take a regular potato masher and just go through here and mash up the potatoes. And the point of this is for the potatoes to thicken your soup so you don't want so you don't want your potatoes to stay in chunks like that. You want them mashed so it's consistent throughout your soup. But just mash it to the consistency that you like. So my potatoes are mashed up. My soup is exactly the way I want it. And I'm gonna pour in my four cups of broccoli. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's gonna be plenty. So I'm going to get this stirred in really well, bring it up to a boil, then I'm going to cover it and reduce the heat to a simmer and let this cook for about 10 or so minutes until my broccoli is as soft as I want it. Bring your soup back up to a boil again, reduce the heat, cover and simmer for 10 more minutes. At this point, you want to taste test your soup for seasonings, for consistency. You want to make sure that your potatoes and your broccoli are soft enough exactly like you and your family like them. If you do need to add some more seasonings, now's the time to do that. Then turn the heat off of the soup. Add in one half cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two cups of extra sharp cheddar cheese, and a half a cup of half and half cream. Stir to combine everything and your soup is ready to serve. Sprinkle a tad more cheddar cheese on top of your soup and you have the perfect meal. I can eat broccoli cheddar soup any time of the year. Year round, my family loves it. You could absolutely serve your soup with a piece of crusty bread on the side. I actually love my broccoli cheddar soup with some croutons on top. It saves me a lot of carbs because I'm only gonna eat a few croutons. It gives me the crunch. And my favorite croutons are Merzetti garlic butter and I think they pair perfectly with my broccoli cheddar soup. Now how about that for delicious soup? And I can't wait to see you again in Renee's kitchen. And don't forget to download my cookbook. The link's available in the description box below.